My name is Craig Deleuze. I'm with the, the Cal Guns Foundation. Uh, I also uh, uh, lobby on behalf of the Firearms Policy Coalition in California. And I'm here to tell you that the, uh, the, de the, the rumors of the death of gun rights in California have been sorely exaggerated. And I say that because while you won't hear, you won't hear much in the media, there were a lot of bills, there were a lot of things, ideas that were brought forth in the state of California that never became law. Now, believe it or not, you, know, you hear people say, well, I support common sense gun laws. Well, the problem is California passed common sense several decades ago. <laughs> so common sense is not that common in California. So we've been able in California to actually this year, as much as we've had to fight, one of the blessings that we've seen is the bringing together of coalitions of people uh, to fight for our civil rights. And I, and I like hearing that from our previous speaker because it is, in fact, about civil rights. Um, we brought together a coalition that has included gun owners of California, that have included the NRA, that's included, uh, that's, uh, included the California Rifle and Pistol Association. We've able, even been able to bring together the ACLU, the American Psychological Association, the California criminal defense attorneys. I mean, what's happening is they are going so far off, so far to the left. One of the bills that we killed would have defined as a firearm miscellaneous gun parts, including a block of aluminum. <laughs> I, I can't make, I could make it up, but I'm not. I'm not, ma I'm not making this stuff up. I remember sitting in the committee, speaking to the legislator who was doing this, and I said, Mr. Mr. Assemblyman, where exactly on this block of aluminum would you like me to put the serial number? There was another measure that was proposed that basically would have dealt with, it's called gun violence restraining orders. Anyone here familiar with those? Well, see, in California, not only did they, ha allow for, did they allow for gun violence restraining orders, with those restraining orders comes what's called a gun seizure warrant. Now, here's what the gun seizure warrant does. You basically give this to a law enforcement officer, say this individual is armed and known to be a danger to themselves or others. Now, imagine you're just sitting at home, relaxing, and there comes a knock on the door, if not a battering ram on the door, and they come in to take your guns. That is what this particular measure would have, would have allowed. We've been able to stop these measures in the state of California, but guess what? They will be coming back. See, we've been able to fight to stop things in California that you are going to see in other states. And, and I think if there are two things that I wanna make sure that you understand is that this is not a battle that is going to stop in California. Once they are done with us, they're going on. In Oregon and in Washington, they've already declared that they want to create a West Coast wall of gun control. They want to implement California-style gun control in those states. You've got Bloomberg, and we're going to hear that name a lot today, but you've got Bloomberg coming in, and first thing he's doing is, is he's buying off PR, uh, PR firms. And they're setting the stage with the media. Then they're coming in and they're putting money into campaigns. And they're not going after pro-gun candidates because they know that we're, getting ele we're electing them for pro-gun areas. They're going after those for whom it's not really a big deal. They're not really concerned about that issue and they're replacing them with rabid anti-gun candidates. And then finally they're coming with the legislation. And by then the table has already been set. Folks, it happened in California and we're still fighting. We are on the front lines in California of the gun rights movement, but trust me, it is not going to be the last place where this fight is going to be fought. It's also important to understand that this is a fight about civil rights. They don't want us speaking about guns. In California, if it's a state-run billboard, you can't advertise about firearms. If you own a gun shop, you can't put a picture of a handgun on your store. They've banned, not only have they banned standard capacity magazines, they want to confiscate them. They're going after every single one of our enumerated civil rights. And we have to understand that the, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights is not a, a list of suggestions. In fact, the Bill of Rights is not even rights that are, cod that are, that are created by our government. They are codified in the Bill of Rights. Those are inalienable human rights, which include up to and including the right to defend oneself 
from enemies, foreign and domestic, up to and including a tyrannical government. That is what our Constitution says. We cannot allow the definition of civil rights to be stolen. Civil rights, by definition, are rights that are inalienable to all citizens. Not based on your religion, not based on your skin color. They are rights due to all citizens. And this is a fight for civil rights. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this. If we do not use them, we will lose them. Thank you very much. If you like these updates, please share them with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel.